I've seen videos where guys try to take the head off and they and they what they do is they they drill into there and they try to get those wedges out and then they try to pull the pull the head off at the end the way it, the way it went on. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the handle off and I'm going to drive the wood out the direction it wants to go. The inside of that hammerhead is kind of conical shaped, um, like a, like a, like a, like a V and that's what keeps it from coming off. You wedge it and that's what keep, it keeps it from the handle from coming off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that in my favor and I'm gonna knock the handle out toward the V end. We'll see how it goes. Now I've got that little Madol ball peen hammer clamped in my vise. I've got just a, a rag here to cushion it, hold it maybe better in place than just metal on metal and don't wanna really scratch it up too bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the head off close to the, or cut the handle close to, close to the head. And yes, I'm using a hacksaw on wood, but like a few strokes came right off. This wasn't going to be saved because of that break as much as I would have liked to have saved this. Now we'll see if we can knock this. Now we'll see if we can knock this wood out of the head. Now I'm just going to use my stare at punch to, which is probably overkill for this, try to drive that wood right through the head. How about that? Now, I've got the, the head removed. That wasn't so bad after all. Just take the, the wood in the direction it wants to go. Now that that end has been taken out of there, you can see the wedges, this thing split on its own. The wedges came right, one of the wedges came out. The other two are probably easy to take right off. I can probably pick them out with my fingers. You can see the replacement handle I got at the hardware store is significantly wider, thicker, fatter than the one that came out of there. Um, and if you look at the head on this, this is where it goes in, and that's the smaller hole. And there's the bigger end. You see, it just about goes in. And intuitively, you want to well, put in the bigger end and kind of wedge it in there. But what you want to do is you want to go through the smaller end then have that expand out so it, so it doesn't come off, so the head doesn't come flying off when you're, when you're using it. So this is going to have to be ground down a little bit and so it can fit in there and then we'll wedge it to expand it and we'll get this thing to fit tight. After a little bit of sanding, and I cut that wedge, I cut the, the split down the middle a little bit farther, I got the head pretty well fitted. You can see there's no real gaps around where the, where the handle and the head meet. So I got a pretty good tight fit. Now I'm just gonna wedge the, I'll wedge the top, expand that wood out, and then trim it all fit, and we should be good to go. I got a nice little, I took the profile down quite a bit. Still not as thin as that original one, but I think uh, it should probably last a little longer and it won't end up cracking like this one did. Maybe a little bit more substantial, but it's still, still got, a nice, got a nice feel to it. Well, now I've got the hammerhead fit onto the handle. I cut it down. You can see we left a, that's a little cut where the groove was. And remember we talked about how the, the head of this was kind of, the inside of that was kind of a, kind of a conical shape. Well, now you're going to take a wedge and I'm going to drive the wedge in there. I'll cut this wedge down to fit. We'll drive the wedge in there. That'll expand that wood out and fill that gap so that the hammerhead won't come off as you're uh, using it. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to kind of fit this. So I'm going to go ahead and split this. I'll just cut that down with a utility knife so the wedge is the same width as that, as that handle. Then we'll, drive that, then we'll drive that wedge in there. Well, now I've got my anvil, which is actually a piece of railroad, railroad rail. It's about a 45 pound chunk of rail. I'm gonna set my handle up on here. 
And I'm going to drive that wedge in using a different hand hammer. I'm going to drive that in. That's going to expand that wood out and fill that gap in the head. That's about as all she's going to take. Well, I've got that all hammered in. That wood expanded and it filled in that that uh, that uh, the head of that hammer. That wood, you know, I told you about that, that conical shapes. That wood expanded out, so it's not going to come off. In fact, it's really solid now. So I'm going to cut this off flush, flush with the hammer head. Then I'll drive in that metal wedge. We should, we should be good to go after that. So now I I drove that wood wedge in. That expanded the wood one way, and I drove the the steel wedge. Actually, the wedge that came with the handle. I thought it was too big. This head's a little bit small. Um, so I used the original wedges that came with it. I used two of them. Originally there was three in there. And that expanded the wood you know, the opposite direction as, as a wood wedge. Um, so that filled, that filled the end of the, the hammer head. And I went and took it over to the belt sander and I smoothed it all out. Now what I'll do is I'll do a final little sand on this and then it's gonna get some linseed oil. And then I'll be done. I've got another shop hammer. And you can see it's got a nice smooth face on there. So if you do hammer onto stuff, it doesn't leave any marks or scratches. If I want to hammer on metal or shaped metal, it doesn't put in, embed those dents or scratches into the, into the metal. And this made all is a good steel. It's a nice head on there. Now I've got a nice handle and I've got another ball peen hammer in the shop now. I'm like I needed another one. <laughs> but um, we'll put a little linseed oil and we'll finish this up. Well, this is what goes on in the shop when the weather's too bad to go shooting. Uh, um, now I got another ball peen hammer to add to the to the set. The uh, put a little linseed oil on the handle. The head's solid. It's tight. That thing's not going to move. Just what, just what you want. Um, nice little project. I think I'm done in probably less than an hour. I took went from driving the head off this to putting a new handle on to getting it all oiled up and getting it finished. And now it's a usable tool again. And another tool in the shop. Add to my growing uh, hammer collection. Like I said, a little bit unusual video for the one I'm used to. <laughs> Nothing to do with guns today. Um, we'll get back on the guns in the next video.